I got an email from one of my clients the other day. They were asking if I could help them create a restart video button on a slide where they had a regular slide video. And I thought about this for a moment. There's a couple of ways that you could do a restart slide button. Uh, but in this case here, I thought, why not take advantage of the new interactive video feature in Adobe Captivate 2019? So in this case here, we have a slide that's actually from the demo project that comes with Adobe Captivate uh, that deals with interactive video. And there's already a movie on this slide here. So I'm going to do two things to allow us to have this ability. The first thing I need, of course, is a button on the slide. And I'll just create a smart shape. We'll choose use as button. And I'll take advantage of the fact that there already is an object style uh, suitable for this particular design. And we'll just call this restart video. I'm going to place that down at the bottom here. And I'm just going to, uh, let's zoom in real close here and uh, just resize this a bit so that it looks good for this uh, bottom bar area here. That looks good. Maybe I'll make it a little smaller. And uh, I'm going to right click on that and go to align and uh, align this uh, horizontally in the middle of the slide. So let's go back out to 100 here. We'll open up our timeline here. Uh, let's adjust this button so that it appears for the rest of the slide and appears at the very beginning of the video and I'm actually going to get rid of the pause point because I don't need that in this particular case. I am going to uh, add a bookmark and uh, I'm going to put it you know close to the beginning and then I'll just drag it out and we'll call this uh, video start and then of course I can uh, click away from that that bookmarks there and I'll just drag that to the very beginning of the video right there and I can now get rid of my timeline and I, if I click on this button and go to the properties inspector and go to the actions tab instead of go to next slide which is the default on success action for uh, any kind of button we're going to change this to jump to bookmark and in this case here we'll choose video start as our bookmark uh, in question. There is only one right now. And I'm going to keep continue playing the project because not only do I want it to go to the start of the video, but I want it to start playing from that point as well. I am going to check hand cursor and check disable click sound because I'm not a fan of those, um, those sounds. And we'll just do a preview of this project in HTML5 and see if it works well. So here's our video playing, and if I miss something at the beginning, of course, as a learner, I can click the restart video at any time and go back to the beginning of this slide and therefore the beginning of this video. And as you can see, I can use it as many times as I wish. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.